What's up, everyone? It's Mo checking in. Just wanted to hit you guys up with a six month or should I say seven month <laughs> video um, on T. So, wow, that's been a fast six and a half, seven months, guys. Like, I mean, wow. I think all the guys on T out there could could definitely vouch for that. And for those of you guys that aren't yet, um, for whatever reason, just know that when it happens, um, and it will happen, um, time goes by fast. So be sure to like document it um, and just enjoy the process, guys. So I feel like um, in other you know T videos that I've watched, you know, watching guys in, in years past, it seems like you know after a certain point they have a lot less to say. Of course, you know, changes slow down. Um, they don't notice as much, and. I have to say that I totally agree with that, guys. Um, of course, I'm going to still make, keep making videos and all that fun stuff, but it really seems like a lot of the changes have slowed down. Um, but I'll update you on what I can, that's for sure. So, first thing I want to bring up, acne. Um, that's a little bit of a newer development. I think some of it has to do with the hike that I just came from that, you know, had me out in the, you know, you know, outside uh, with a lot of sweat and all that build up on my face without access to a whole lot of water. Um, I think I made it worse, but I've definitely got some acne on the cheeks here. That's really it. Um, it's not anywhere else. Not on my chest, shoulders, back, nothing. Um, so, I mean, I'll take it. It's really not that bad. Um, and I've also been a little lazy with my face washing regimen, um, so that's probably um, an issue as well. Um, but like I said, I'll take it. So another change, and I think, by the way, sorry, that's due to oil on my face. I never had oily skin um, or acne skin, um, but I think that has something, a lot, obviously has a lot to do with it. And that's something that's definitely new is all the oil that I feel like at the end of the day, like it's just disgusting. It's, wow, I've never had that before. Um, so the next thing is hair. Um, that's, you know, that's something I've probably been reporting on the whole time, but it's just gotten more. Um, I think that's what, you know, once you get to a certain point, I think that's what a lot of changes on TV come. Um, just more of what you already have experienced. You know, it's real fun and exciting that first month, two, three months um, on T. But then from there on, from then on, it almost just seems like those changes that have already happened just continue to magnify and increase. And that's definitely what I'm seeing. So definitely in, um, increased um, leg hair, arm hair, facial hair, whatever. Um, it's thickening. That's something that my partner is noticing more than I am, but I'm um, sorry for the cat. <laughs> but it's it's definitely happening, and I'll take it. it. doesn't bother me. Voice. Voice dropping. That's happening um, slowly but surely. I can always tell when like, a drop is coming, so my voice will squeak for a little bit, and then it drops again. And then it's normal for a minute, then it squeaks again, and then it drops again. Um, so I think I kind of just went through one of those phases, and right now, things are pretty stable, not squeaking um, or cracking my voice as much as I was um, just a few weeks ago. So I continue, I expect for it to continue to drop. Um, I like the way that it sounds now. It doesn't It doesn't bother me. I think it sounds fine. Um, other people are starting to notice that it's dropping as well. So um, it's definitely, definitely making its way down. Um, gosh, I think probably the last thing I want to bring up is my neck. I think it's something that I brought up before, but wow. I mean, you know, before I, I started filming this, I kind of set the camera up and was, you know, getting the angle right, getting the lighting from the window right, and I was just, like, looking at myself, I was like, holy crap, like, like, this is just, it's so, like, my neck has gotten so much bigger. And speaking of neck, my neck getting bigger, uh, this is a question I wanted to post to you guys, and you can message me or comment, whatever, whatever makes you more uh, comfortable. I have started snoring. Um, I did not used to snore. Um, my partner's complaining about it. <laughs> no, she's fine. Um, I don't know if I'm snoring all the time, but it's just kind of interesting, and I don't know if it has anything to do with my neck. Um, I don't think it's sleep apnea because there are no other sleep apnea-like symptoms other than the snoring. Um, you know, I'm not excessively tired during the day or anything like that. I, I, I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, so anyone experience that or, you know, I don't know. I have a doctor's appointment soon. Of course, I'll take it to a medical professional. Um, I have a just a, a my, uh, you know, every couple months checkup with like blood work, which I'll inform you guys on that as well. Um, so far, my levels have been good. And by the way, guys, I am on half a cc, um, which is 100 milligrams of testosterone cypionate each week. Um, so and that's a pretty normal dose from what I've heard. Um, so I think the last thing I wanted to bring up, let's see. Um, probably family stuff. So, 
there's still some people that I need to tell. Um, but I will say that so far, the people that I have told, whether friends, family, whatever, have been really cool. Um, so that's not uh, something to say to to rub it in or something like that. I just know that not everyone in the community is so lucky. Um, and it can really make a difference to have someone, anyone on your team. And the, like I said, the reason I bring this up is just remind everyone that's watching this that it is part of the trans community. Um, and even people who aren't a part to to be available, um, to be open. So, you know, if any of you guys need to talk or um, need support, feel free to message me at any time um, or comment, whatever. And for those of you that are allies to the community, try to be open-minded, continue to be open-minded um, and understanding, of course. Um, and I kind of just say that in the midst to knowing that some people's families aren't open and to you know, you're seeing a lot of these bills being proposed, the fear from the from the U.S. watching this, that are, like, discriminatory towards the entire LGBT community. And just, you know, when we think that things are changing and getting better, uh, shit hits the fan. So, um, so I have to say I've been lucky, but um, if anyone else is in need of support, uh, remember that sometimes, if need be, your family can be chosen. Um, it doesn't always have to be blood. So keep that in mind, guys. Um... So that's all I have to say. I'm going to upload a shoulder training video tonight. So for any of you guys interested in fitness, um, check that out on the BFETS Fitness channel um, for trans guys. And I will catch you guys next time. Let me know if you have any questions um, about, about my dose or about anything that's going on. And I will keep you guys posted. And I'll catch you next time.